Wait. Wait, 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 Snaily? Snaily, where'd you go? Snaily? He's resting. <laughs> Hello, Mari. Hey, Omori, it looks like we've reached the end of the road. Literally. <gasps> like what we. the, the, the freaking key, key. keyboard piece. Yeah. Looks like there's a long bridge up ahead. Whatever you do, don't look down. Okay. Let's heal up. Much needed. A picnic? Yeah. I can't believe you really made it all the way to the end of the highway. But you did, and you should all be proud. The bridge at the top of this cliff leads to a place called Deeper Well. Oh, okay. Word is that Deeper Well has been around for a long time, but the bridge wasn't there until recently. Who knows what's on the other side? Do you think that's where Basil is? Somehow, no. We don't know for sure, but there's only one way to find out. Take that clam. So let's, let's drop a save. It's been quite a bit since I was able to do that. And let's check out the end of the highway. Car, this is the end of the highway. Is it? Oh, oh, hey, hello. Yes, two keys left. Welcome to Black Space. We need a W and a T. So T in a large bubbly tank. W in the gut of a whale. Oh, we are so close. Anyway, I... Uh, oh, oh. There is a hole here. Look into the hole. I am... Okay, the last one was genuinely disturbing. I'm kind of tepid about this, but... Okay, I'm gonna... Gonna, gonna squint real hard at my monitor here. Yeah, these are getting a lot more intense. Um, wanted for murder? Who would that be? Please avoid my spikes at all cost, thank you. Hello, taxi man. And a lift back to last resort. Anything for the boss's right hand man? No, thank you, sir. Hey, don't go touching that. Anything happens to it and they'll have my tail. Hey, you're back. Told us 3,000 clams, same as always. Now, I was given advice to pay the last toll. Are you the last toll, or... Maybe there's beyond here, to the left? Where does this go? This is the end of the highway. All right. Uh, I have a lot of disposable income. Fine, I'll humor you. Really? You just got that kind of money lying around? You must be swimming in it. Alright, gate's open. Forever? Ease my suffering. Oh, poor guy. Kids these days are really something. R really? That... So if I leave and come back, it'll stay open. Oh, it is. Well, 
My curiosity's been sated, so I guess that's nice. Wait, I see you. I nearly missed it. Oh, one of these. Be free, mushroom friend. Man, I'm really glad we found that in the maze. The tutorial on how to slice open those buds. Right. Oh, whoa, perspective. So, are we going down? A clear bridge stretches across the trench. Don't want to cross it, yeah. Oh, this is nice. I wonder who installed these lampposts, and who keeps them fueled. I need to know the logistics of this. It's important. The heck is that? Wow, just look at this place. There's so many cool plants around. I bet Bowser would have really liked it here. Would have. He's not gone yet. Basil, he would have really liked it. Right, guys? Yeah, I'm sure he would have. He's not gone yet. I don't like this past tense talk. Huh? What is it? Hey, I have a serious question. Do any of you remember what Basil looks like? Why do you ask that, hero? Let's see here. Basil... Basil loves taking care of flowers and taking photos of his friends. He's warm, calm, and gentle. And even when he's upset, he'll always manage a smile. The rest is starting to get a little fuzzy. It's been four days! Or three, even. Yeah, I guess it would be... i uh, carry the one... Yeah. That many days, yeah. It's okay. Me too, hero. It's like I still miss him, but it's kind of hard to remember why. But that doesn't change anything, right? Even if our memories aren't as strong as they used to be, we still have to save him. Basil is our friend. And more importantly, he needs our help. You're right, Aubrey. I think we've all been apart from Basil for way too long. But I'm sure we'll find him, as long as we have Omori to keep us on track. All this time, Basil has been waiting for us. He could be lost, lonely, or scared. I bet he could use a big hug right now. Then when we're all together again, we should all give him a big ol' hug. <laughs> Aw, it's nice to see you two getting along so well for a change. I could hug the both of you right now. Huh? Me and Kel? Get along? What are you talking about, hero? Stop being weird. Oh, relax, you two. I'm just playing around. Hold on, Basil. We're almost there. We'll all be together soon. So, uh... Oh! It's a teleporter. How does that work? I really like the color palette here. Okay, we got... Uh, I guess we can chalk this up to being like... Uh, what was it? The Saffron City Gym? Or the Team Rocket Hideout? More Pokemon references. Anyway, what are you? Your memories are not free. To gain a memory, another must be shrouded. And yet, all memories will eventually fade. 
Perhaps you've already noticed the curse of Deeper Well. Oh. Well, left to right, I suppose. If we can formulate any sense of logic to this place. At least there's no monsters to fight so far. Okay, we're going on a long tangent here. With time, what is important will change. You must choose what you will keep and what you will cast away. Not everyone has that choice. Okay, thank you, disembodied floating head. I'm starting to feel like I should have taken the other two holes. Those are probably dead ends. Oh! Well, speaking of dead ends... Humans are bounded creatures. Your limits are what define you. What makes you human? I'm human because I am. Yeah, jam packets. Wait, I can't sprint around here? Oh man. How would they do that? <laughs> That's mean. I can't sprint. Huh. Uh, I feel like I'm right. Oh hell. Which way? Which way? This way. Oh, you got a rain cloud. What if it's up to you? What if it's only up to you? Carry on, dreamer. You're the only one who can. The universe is full of questions that you'll never answer. Yet, there are also ones that only you can answer. When the truth is revealed, what will you do? Man, the game's getting real pretentious right now. I'm here for it. It is selfish to dream for so long when there are those who are expecting you. Time will always move forward. Eventually the truth will become clear. You know this well. Don't you, dreamer? By God, did I luck into doing all the um, optional routes first? I checked all the dead ends. <laughs> oh, what is? <coughs> excuse me, something. <coughs> my throat. <coughs> okay, I think I'm, I think I'm actually good. Weird feeling. Swimming melon. Is this a, is this the first swimming melon we've seen in the whole game? How interesting. I, I guess floating is the word. When trouble shows itself, there is always the choice to run. But one day, you may very well find yourself running alone. The sun shined brighter when she was here. Wasn't that... isn't that the words on the grave in the graveyard? You know, games like this usually get a bit introspective when you're getting close to the end, and well, I think we're right at the tail end of the third and final area of the dream world. Like, from where I'm standing, I don't quite know if there could be a fourth dream area, you know? Like from the start we had like, oh. It's like from the start we had the other world and the spider forest, firefly forest, and the water, and I feel like 
we're really at, you know, the end of the road, like what we saw just a while ago. It's like... I feel like I'm really close to the end of this game and everything. A long time has passed since you have ventured this far. Deeper layers of this world open up as the dreamer grows more desperate. Even imagination is limited. You have questions that I can answer. Answers that you have forgotten. I will lay them out for you. If you are curious, you will choose. I feel like I only I can only choose one. Now the big yellow cat overlooking the play area, well, that look, by all accounts, it feels like it's just some fantastical image based off of the playground in the, in the park, you know? It's right there in the park, right near Sunny's house. Probably played there a lot as a kid, the imagery stuck with them. I, I don't think there's anything interesting to learn about this. White space... Like, <laughs> from little, literally part one of this playthrough, I was like, okay, the white space is a metaphor for uh, withdrawal, depression, um, refusal to accept reality and feel emotions. But Basil, everything about Basil is a mystery to me, in the dream and in reality. Tell me about Basil. You would like to know more about your lost friend, yes. The friend you have lost is not in this world. The day he was removed, he was reborn elsewhere. He is special to you. A string of fate ties you two together. You cannot leave that place alone. To retrieve him, you will have to remove yourself as well, but in a way that is natural for this world. For headspace. This journey is nearing its end. You already know what you have to do, Dreamer. Oh, is there anything else you would like to know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me. The big yellow cat. You'd like to know more about the big yellow cat. Before this world was created, there existed three great creatures. The oldest, the wisest, and the favorite. The oldest is alive, but not the same as he once was. Age has removed his conscience, and he has evolved into a parasite within himself. He lives here, just beyond this cavern. What? The wisest, against her reason, committed an act that opposed the dreamer's will. It is an act that is not even known to me. As a result, she was stripped of her wisdom and banished to isolation. A special prison somewhere deep, deep down. The last and favorite, the big yellow cat, was chosen to watch over the dreamer's most precious room. He remains the dreamer's favorite even to this day. Watching diligently, waiting for something to happen. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> this, is, this is what we're doing, huh? like to know more about white space. To be in white space is to be nothing. White space is emptiness, a home without warmth, a place to survive but not to live. Even still, your conscience cannot be erased. It will always find a way in. Even in white space, it will take the form. And if one wills it, something will be formed to subdue it. A hanging black light bulb the oppression of an idea. Yes, perhaps it is time to admit that you are human, Dreamer. You have listened well. I have granted you knowledge, but know that I can also grant you power here. There is a challenge that will aid you greatly in this world. It is simple without thought, and if you succeed, I will be gone as well. I offer you this sacrifice. Will you take this opportunity? Yeah! 
I understand. Stand very still, dreamer. Oh, this is some real, real shenaniganry. Oh, a fruit. Surely, there's never been any bad symbolism about eating a fruit. The fruit is me. A red, juicy apple hangs from this tree. Would you like to eat the apple? Yeah. I wonder if someone's gonna save me this time. Or maybe I can save myself. Omori gained 50 heart. Omori gained 50 juice. Omori gained 10 attack. Omori gained 10 defense. Omori gained 10 speed. Is this called self-actualization? A branch coral. It is not alive. Thank you for your sa uh, uh, the sacrifice. Um. So coming away from this, I have one question. Does Sunny and Basil is gay? I feel like they may be gay. Maybe. I feel that would answer some things, you know? Like Basil's weird reaction to learning Sunny's moving away. I don't know, I'll think on that. Look at these poor, unfortunate souls. Sup? So. That sound effect is so quiet, but I think it's saying, help me. Maybe? An unhallowed burden has been placed upon you. You have the power to change the future. What will you do, dreamer? What will you do? Kick his butt. With a knife. How far will you go to save a friend? Basket. Good. Look at that happy whale! Are you the eldest? Hi. Hi, friend. Whale, hello there, friends. I don't know what I expected. The name is Humphrey. What brings you here to my humble little cave? Oh, hello, Humphrey. We're just looking for someone. Sorry if we're bothering you. Oh, no, not at all, children. I do love visitors. In fact, you are the second group to visit me today. The first was just a girl, a very loud girl with a big red bow. Oh. Doesn't that sound like someone we know? Uh huh? Is Sweetheart here? Where is she? Uh, where is she? Where is she? It's on the tip of my tongue. Nyak, nyak. That's a joke it is. She is inside me, you see. Yeah, I, th I thought this might be where this is going. Sh she's inside you? Why, yes. She is visiting my guests. 
for I am also home to a family of sea witches. We spend our time together chatting and chuckling. It is so fun to hear about their daily antics. Sometimes they are even so kind as to bring me my meals. It's much easier for them, you see, for they are closer to my belly than I. In fact, I'm sure they'd love even more visitors. Here, let me lower the bridge for you. My apologies, the first guest seems to be causing some indigestion. I wonder if that's a... Tasty donut. Well, isn't this a classic narrative trick? <laughs> Literally the belly of the beast. Humphrey. Whoa, Humphrey's belly is huge! It sure looks easy to get lost in here. I bet if I yell, it'll make an echo! Echo, 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 echo. Ah, where'd you come from? Welcome to my lair. Are you surprised to see me? I am always here. I am inside me and all around you. I'm everywhere. Or I am just here. Wow, that's so cool, Humphrey. Wish I could do that. It's kind of gross if you ask me. Wow, so rude. Huh, there are many ways to go. Where should we even start? Left, right, up, around, does it matter? It's all forward, isn't it? Just pick one, it's easy. All right. So I guess the uh, yellow Yellow uh, construction marks are where I can dock. Oh my god. It's so easy. Uh, I, I mean, it's so funny how um, right now there's like this discourse going around about people complaining about yellow paint marking where to go in games. <laughs> but it works, man. Hi, I'm Humphrey. You're all access pass to Humphrey, aka Slime Girl's Lair. Slime Girls? Strictly speaking, I guess I'm what you, call, what you humans call an elevator. Unfortunately, we can only take one appointment at a time, so you'll have to wait your turn. Though, if you can find me a slimy key card, I might be able to pull some strings for you. Nyak nyak. What about these? Maybe there's shortcuts back here. Well, let's go clockwise. Speaking of construction, look at... I'm sorry, are they wearing lab coats? They're wearing lab coats. Waste. Yeah, sure, I guess we're doing this. Molly. Oh, hello, Marina. Are you here to steal my things again? Well, not this time. I've prepared something extra special for you today. Foo-foo-foo. As you know, I'm a very busy person, but alas, you are my sister. I will grant you access to my room if you are able to solve my little gift. Hope to see you soon, darling. If you're still alive, that is. Okay, these sea witches seem to be... I'm sorry, is that a bomb? Uh, these sea witches seem to be very antagonistic to each other, um... Gee, you popped in just as I was mi in the middle of fixing up this tube. Okay. Uh, cut the red wire. Type, puzzle, theme, memorization, difficulty, hard. Activate that puzzle? No. Pattern, difficulty, easy. Multiple choice, difficulty medium? Yeah, give me the multiple choice. I don't want to know what happens if I get this wrong. Oh, it's a computer. What the?
Input the password? Green? Oh. Never mind. Uh, hi, Mari. Now, Omori, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking to yourself, Wow, sis, this is a weird place to set up a picnic. Well, let me tell you, it may be recommended to only set up picnics in normal places like in forests or campsites, but where's the fun in that? What if I want to study the anatomy of a whale while I eat? Then what? Expand your mind, Omori. I need to set an example for my sometimes boring little brother. Sure. I guess we can have a picnic, never mind the bomb. You guys, we can't relax right now. We have a puzzle to solve. Aren't you guys afraid the bomb is going to explode? Just relax, Aubrey, we got this. This room's full of the smartest people I know. That doesn't make me feel better at all. The lady on the screen said she set it up for her sister, right? She wouldn't really let it explode on her sister. I don't know, Kel. Aubrey's right. We're in unfamiliar territory. It's probably better to play it safe. What do you think we should do, Mari? Uh-huh. Oh, I think you should do what your heart tells you. Thanks, Mari. I can always count on you. You're welcome. All right. I almost wanted to say that what if one of the Humphrey Sprouts was in the photo too? A floating mirror. Your friend smiled warmly behind you. You drop another save just for good measure. Oh! Look at this parasite! Ah! Whoa! Wormbot! Some intense battle music here, but... Now that Omori is overpowered as all hell, <laughs> probably be golden. Yeah, it's got some meat on its bones, but it's not too big a threat. Oh, hell no. Look at those cones. Oh, Got a mailbox. Uh, a mailbox. Could that be a weapon for Aubrey? It is. Let's see. A uh, heart down by 10, attack up by 4. You got mail. Box. Um? You know what? Yeah, I'll take it. Hero, turn on the charm, please. Hey, it's these guys again. Work your magic, hero. Ahem. Greetings, sir, conveyor bot. My companions and I require your assistance in changing the directions of your conveyors. Will you and your friends please aid us? Bzz, him, nice person. Get lost. Uh-huh, that's strange. That worked so well before. Don't be so down, hero. He's probably just got his gears all mixed up or something. Could you say that any louder? Now he's going to get even more mad at us. Hey, scrap heap. He'll turn those belts around for us, won't ya? Biz... Ah... Uh, hmm... Rude person. <laughs> Just like Molly. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Well, what do you know? Looks like I'm pretty good at this charm thing, too. Alright, Kel. Your turn to take the lead. Or not, because I need Omori to cut these cones. Ugh. What? Oh! Water Mimic! Yeah, that's a proper Mimic, not like the Venus flytraps. And it's angry. You know what? Something tells me that an angry Water Mimic is scary, so maybe I should make it sad. I 
found a watermelon juice. Aubrey's level 33, Hero's 33. It flung a rubber band at Hero. That's interesting. Oh, a keyboard piece. Looks like a job for Aubrey. Hell yeah, smash it open. It is a V. I don't need a V. What's the full picture looking like? Well, there's two arms. Or maybe two pull strings on a hoodie. Maybe. Ah. Got homework. Homework? Would that be an accessory? Maybe it makes you furious. Huh? Homework. The bane of every child's existence. Where it starts sad in battle. Oh. Yeah, I hated homework. Homework sucks. I should change the pink belts right now. Eh, I don't think so. Oh. Oh, hey, we're on camera. Hey, look, this camera's taking live footage of us. Say cheese. Aw, oh, we look so cute. <laughs> Almost makes you wish we had a camera. Uh, don't worry, we have loads of pictures of us, don't we? We have pictures of us? Where? But only when we least expect it. What are you talking about, Kel? Something special about everyone living their own lives? Uh, you're being kind of weird. Huh? Um, never, never mind. It's probably nothing. Oh, we need to hurry. Let's keep moving forward. We gotta figure out what the solution, uh, figure out the solution to these puzzles. That bomb could blow any second. Was I supposed to be doing some multiple choice thing? There's really no reason they had to make this part so tedious. <laughs> I guess it's a joke at my expense. That's one way forward, or wait. Um, I think this is good for now. There's blue. Now I want blue going up. And I want pink going the other way now. So I should have changed this one. Yes. I assume this teleporter right here is just a failsafe in case I get pinned between two, uh, two paths I can't cross, so I'll just ignore it. Is that what- do I have a- boxing gloves? Huh. Oh, hey Humphrey, sup? It's a good thing I checked before writing this M, or else I might have almost written another B. That would have been pretty bad, huh? This must be for one of Molly's crazy puzzles again. That girl loves to play games too much. If she was just focused, she could probably do so much good for the world. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to switch places with the one on your right. And when I say your right, I mean you, as in the person standing in front of me, not some hypothetical observer watching us from behind a screen. Huh. Molly told us to write letters on our back and stand in this order. At least I think it was this order. Yeah, it's, um, boom, right? Is that a dog?
That must have been the memorization. Boom! I guess I have to solve all of them, right? Well... Let's do the hardest one last. Blue. Pattern. Difficulty easy. I'll activate this one. Uh, the answer here must be the way I walk over these tiles. So be very careful not to touch them. Uh, free heal. Questionable gelatin. Mm, I won't question it. Well, I guess if there's a free heal right here, I'll just, I'll just go ham. Um, I'll just go ham uh, using all my juice in battles. Oh, hello. Mr. Bird? Kerkra. Lab work in progress. Disturb sparingly. This is Humphrey to Humphrey. Do you read me? Hmm, yes. Have you tried turning it off and back on again? According to our test, it would seem that sprout moles grow from tofu. What? Who knew? This changes... They're cannibals! This changes everything! Oh my, surely these numbers aren't correct. Oh, wait, it seems that I have miscalculated. I guess they're not. We understand so little about this world, so we study it. Yet our research just fills us with even more questions. It's an endless and fruitless cycle. Ah, oh, these results are quite unexpected. With this knowledge, I may just be able to find the cure for mortality. That's what I'm saying. According to the live feed, she's working hard on something in her workshop. Yeah, okay, I'll keep an eye on it. It's tough to get any actual work done around here, since Molly is always messing with our research. I wish I was assigned to Medusa's quadrant. Alright, it must be Molly, Marina, and Medusa. That's, what, that's where they assign all the work hard, play hard types. Here they even have a water slide. Ah, of course, the calculations are so simple when you put it that way. Uh... So... So if I multiply with the result, subtract by infinity, then divide by zero, and carry the one, that would bring me to an imaginary number. It's, it's science. Nuclear waste. Hmm. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Oh my god, that sprout mole's in a test chamber. Greetings, visitors. Would you like to see something cool? Yeah? This machine here can perform remote teleportation. With the power of modern technology, I can send the sprout mole to the other side of the grid. Take a look. What an error! Someone must have messed with the program. Oh, it was probably Molly again. She always pulls stunts like this. Hey there, visitors. I've been leading an experiment on Humphrey through Humphrey Movement. You've come just in time to watch us conduct our final test. Are you ready, gang? Let's do it just like we practiced. Huh? This... this wasn't in my plans. Where'd everybody go? I'm not entirely sure what just happened here. Huh. Oof. Erg. Hmm. Eh? Huh? What are you looking at me like that for? Can't you see I'm busy? Actually, I just got an idea. 
On second thought, can one of you kids try running through these metal plates for me? I just want to test something. Why don't you discuss it amongst yourselves and vote? Kill. Just kill. What? Why do I gotta do it? Fine, but I don't have a good feeling about this. Oh my god, I'm controlling him. Uh. Ow. Get hurt. Oh my god, he is getting hurt. Ow. He's getting better. Be careful. I don't trust this guy one bit. Watch your step, okay? If it gets too serious, I'll back you up. I like how Omori is placed so I can't talk to him. Aha, uh -huh, I knew one of these spikes was broken. If I had a cup of coffee right now, I would sip it. Thanks for voluntarily risking your life. That's what you were testing? Well, I guess now I gotta go fix it. Wow. Wait, is he... Hmm. Oof. Erg. Hmm. Eh? Can I press a button here and impale him on the spikes? <gasps> yeah! I killed Humphrey. It's me. You like that up there? Impressive, huh? their deal. Oh, they're not tangible. Except for this one. Molly told me to stand here, but I don't know why. Ah, hello visitors. After months upon months of hard work and toil, I've successfully created the first ever Humphrey hologram machine. Don't they look just like the real thing? Sniff, I couldn't be more proud. Wait, what? Okay, well these are arranged just like the spikes were. I'm kind of tempted to just step on the one that didn't go. Unless... a second thought. Hold on. I think there's actually a code I need to work out here. It's not just one space. So this one... Yeah, the sprint mode's on the left. It's a left, right, up, and middle one, right? Left. Down. Right. Left down, right up. Left down, right up. I'm so confident I won't even save. You got this. Show this puzzle who's boss. Left. Down. Right. Up. Aha! I did it. All right, red code, what do you have for me? Memorization hard. Now, it still has a limited space to work with here, so what exactly am I gonna be looking at? Oh. Wires to cut, huh? Okay. So that's a uh, red, blue, white, green. Oh, what the hell? Huh? Okay, um... These look like representations of the 
worms on the side, but bottom one's the shortest, left one's the next tallest, top one's the middle size, and the right one's the most extreme. So clockwise starting at six. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, I get it. It's I count them. One. Zero. Wait, what's that? What, what is that in the corner? Yeah, bottom is zero, left is one, up is two, right is three. So this is two, so I should go north. Right, left. What is this? Ah, oh, finally, a room without a waterfall. This bright white light is perfect for my summer tan. Hmm. Wait. Oh! Oh, oh my god. The colors of the water. I get it. Okay, blue. Green. Blue, green. Red. White. Blue, green, red, white. Blue, green, red, right. Blue, green, red, white. I will save because it's going to be a lot of backtracking if I'm wrong. Blue, green, red, white. That was very enjoyable. I wish Professor Layton were here, he'd have loved that. <laughs> oh, one of these days I want to let's play more Layton games. Oh, the way forward has opened. It's Sweetheart. How long is this going to take? I don't have all day. My work takes patience. Stop talking, darling. I need to concentrate. How about now? Almost done, darling. And finished. At last. Cl the clone? Is, is a clone so Sweetheart can actually marry herself. My greatest invention is complete. It's a clone. A robot clone. And now speak! Speak, my beautiful robot! Let's see, uh... V2HHDCBPCYBZOAGLZIGZLZWXPBMCGSSBOYXZ... Okay, no. I thought that might be funny to read it all, but it's not going to be any more funny than it already was, so... Oh, well, that doesn't sound right. Something must be off with the code. It's because you made me rush my work. Instead of, of to love, it must now be programmed to kill. Huh, don't blame this on me, she's your robot. Thanks to you, my hopes of finding true love have been shattered. You've disappointed me greatly. I'm storming off. My, what a handful. Well, she's not my problem now. Oh, there goes the murder robot. Ah, I almost forgot. That girl, she owes me payment. I must catch her again before she leaves. Wow. I knew it. But hold on, hold, hold on actually. Oh, well, Molly's gone already. Um, 
So we came in through here, but what about this tube? Under construction. Oh, that makes sense. Exciting new attraction, but it's not ready yet? Come back later. Like tomorrow later. Oh! Uh, I'll take that literally. Interesting. Okay, so I guess we have the food pyramid and that to look at tomorrow. Huh. Yeah, I still don't have a key card. As I said, we'll go clockwise, so north. <laughs> 